Bunny News Network. Live report. Gary Forbes here, reporting live from the Peter C. Bunny Mun Space Center just outside of Houston, California. And behind me, you can see the Calypso 3 rocket, poised to send the Helios 2 solar craft on its mission toward the sun in just a few minutes. What up, tubers? Bunny here, and this week we're back with Kerbal Space Program. So in this episode of Kerbal Space Program, I'm doing a follow-up mission to the Helios spacecraft. If you recall the previous Helios spacecraft, that mission did not end successfully. It ran out of gas on its way. Well, this mission is going to use a tried-and-true method of sending spacecraft into the sun. Not that I've actually done it before, but if you look at my Calypso 3 test flight, I managed to put the test spacecraft in a retrograde orbit. So I'm hoping I can use that method to deorbit the Helios spacecraft located in this bearing here. You can kind of see it. Uh, to deorbit this spacecraft, put it into the sun. Now I know in the previous mission I pronounced the name Helios. Well, since then I've learned that the name is actually pronounced Helios. Well, currently we are at T minus two minutes and holding. I am about to commence the launch pull to confirm that this vehicle is go for launch. So without further ado, let the pull begin. Go or no go launch pull commencing now. Stage one, propulsion. Go. Oxidizer. Go. Fuel. Go. Stage two, oxidizer. Go. Fuel. Go. Electrics. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. SAS. Go. Communications. Go. Operation support. Go. Environment. Clamps. Go. Environmental control system. Go. OPS safety manager. Go. Rabbit Aerospace Agency safety officer. Go. Vehicle systems engineer. Go. Anomaly Chief. Go. Range Coordinator. Go. Launch Director. ASTS is ready for launch. Mission Director. Roger that. You have my permission to launch. This concludes the Go No Go launch poll. On my mark, the time will be T minus two minutes and counting. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. T minus two minutes and counting. Calypso 3 is on internal power. T minus 1 minute 30 seconds and counting. T minus one minute and counting. Calypso three is in startup. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Stand by for terminal count. Guidance is internal. <laughs> Strong back is being retracted. T minus 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four. Let's go for ignition start. Ignition our arms. We have commit. We have liftoff of Calypso 3 carrying the Helios 2 spacecraft toward the sun. Vehicle is now pitching down. Miko confirmed. We are out of here. But you know what? I'm just going to leave the ferry on for the time being because if I don't, that might spell disaster. T plus two minutes into the mission, we are now 50 kilometers up, 51 kilometers up, and the altitude keeps increasing faster than I can keep up. So now it is time to do a burn. Just determine a burn. Just a little parking orbit. While we check out everything, that'll do. So when the node is at T minus 14 seconds, I will initiate the orbital burn. I might be able to actually put this vehicle into orbit just with this first stage. Very impressive. I will actually orient the spacecraft now to the right so that the vehicle's right. And actually I can get rid of that piece of junk and go Whoa. okay stage one stage two ignition wobbly wobbly I'm a little uncomfortable with that but it's gonna have to Seco Okay And the orbit looks nominal now I can change the camera, and uh, stage one is heading out of here. Yep. Funny how wide orbital, suborbital trajectories can appear in space, you know what I mean? Well, not even five minutes into the mission, and Helios 2 is already into orbit. That's Kerbin for ya! On Earth, such a time into orbit would not be possible whatsoever. So I'm just going to reorient the spacecraft a little bit. Let's see, I don't think I need RCS at this point. Nah, I think that's good. So I believe in half an hour, when I'm on the day side, I'm going to want to increase my solar orbit. I think I want to... No, I'm going to want to do that on the night side. So the burn is going to be happening a lot sooner. So I'll add a maneuver there. Whoa! Uh, okay. See, so yeah, I'm going to want to do an or... 
a burn on the knight side. So, what is that? T minus two minutes. Estimate. Excuse me. Estimated burn is 2 minutes 53 seconds. The note is in less than 15 minutes. I'm not actually going to keep the note, but I am going to use it just as a reference so I can warp to that area. And then we're going to go ahead with the burn in. Alright, it's coming upon time to do the burn, so let's go in T minus 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ignition. Now my goal for this video is to actually send the spacecraft to the sun. So we're actually going to do that in today's video. Oh, there's my clips. That's clips. Here's the Calypso 3 demonstration in space. Yeah, it's going on a retro. And, okay, we are out of carbon. Okay, I'll leave 25 units of liquid fuel in here. Not a lot, but that should hypothetically help me out. And yeah, I'm going to go 59 million kilometers away from the sun. So I'm going to add maneuver, and obviously this is just the suicide deorbit burn. I don't need anything too special. I think I'm gonna want it not enough. 208 that should do. And that should actually do. I'm gonna go ahead and warp to this next maneuver and I will be with you guys again in a year I guess. Day 239, I'm finally there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and am I retrograde? Yes I am. Let's go for a burn. Oh, it would help if I turn the fuel systems back on. Let's go! too soon. This is a YouTube video and first rule of YouTube videos and movies for that matter, do not say you're gonna make it too soon. But let's see what happens. Oh, one of my spacecraft that I sent. Oh yeah, I remember that for what so. You have a good feeling about this. I'm going for a capture of one of the planets. I don't want to get captured. Not unless you're going to toss me on my way to the sun. But otherwise, leave me alone. Okay, we're looking a little iffy. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I'm not going to make it. No. Just do it until I run, I guess. I'm out of gas. Yep, empty tank. What does that put me at? 565, and I 
think that's all I need. Orbiting the sun. Six hundred thousand. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! And I can't just reduce weights. Boy, mm -hmm. I'm gonna. No, do I? Do I cheat or? No, I promised you guys that I was gonna go into the sun. I am not going to fail on that promise. I'm sorry, rules. All right, so you can see here, there's no periaps. At this point, I don't entirely care. I'm going for the sun. So, let's just go for it. Oh wait, first, I'm gonna make a quick save point. Okay, guys, and I'm sorry if I'm offending you because I'm breaking the rules. But I just want to go into the sun and see what happens, so we're doing it. I'm sorry again to you rule followers because I implemented the ignore max temperature cheat. Just so that I don't die instantly when I get too close to the sun. Right now, I am seriously considering doing a Helios 3 mission, just to see what would happen if I do play by the rules. Plus, I would try one more technique that might help me get to the sun fair and square. But that will be in a different KSP mission, and probably some months from now, so... Do you have plenty of time to forget about such a possible mission? Okay, I'm getting really close to the sun now. I can start seeing the ball growing bigger and bigger and bigger and oh man, I'm gonna burn up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, just not dawned to me that I had warped to the wrong side of the sun. So, yeah, now we're gonna try this again. Alright, that's better. Now I'm gonna warp a little closer to the sun. Okay, I wanna, I'm gonna wanna be very careful. You know what? Let's make a save point right here. Okay. Save made. I want to be very careful. Do I have scientific instruments in this vehicle? No, I don't. Huh. Funny if I do time warp, the heating actually goes away. That is, if I don't time warp too much. Max temperature, and yet I'm still getting a little concerned for these heat ups. I'm doomed. That's overheat to the max. I'm not dead. I can actually survive this. <clears throat> what? I'm alive. I can be alive even with all this madness going on here. Wow. Future Helios spacecraft are going to need a lot more radiators. Let's drop down. Look at me burn! Oh, I guess I can't go any further at this point, so... And I'm not gonna try the physics warp because I'm going way too fast. I'm nearing a hundred thousand meters a second! How is my space rest? It shouldn't be alive! This is madness! Let's see, let's deploy the air brakes because they're meant to actually slow the spacecraft down once it actually gets into the atmosphere. No, I'm not gonna try the physics work. Everything's just overheating. It's white hot! It's white hot! It should have vaporized by now. 
Maybe the humans were smart in sending their spacecraft to only a few million miles within the sun, instead of directly into it. Maybe I'm just a crazy bunny. Or maybe rabbit kind in general is just a crazy species. I have no idea. Look at how everything just glows. Let's get a screenshot of this. Wow. Just weird. Right, seven seconds drops me a hundred kilometers. Okay, 98k meters a second. I'm within a hundred kilom. I'm within a thousand kilometers of the sun's surface. It is time to roast this spacecraft. Man, I am so dead. Here we go. Time to see what happens. Whoa, we're burning! I don't think those parachutes are gonna work. I'm not gonna pull up. I'm not gonna pull up. I don't stand a chance. This is it. We're going down. So long, Elios. You served us well. I bid you farewell. That's it? Really? There isn't anything on the surface. And the thing I wasted my time sending this spacecraft to the sun. Catastrophic. No way, boys! I call that a successful mission! Woohoo! So, let's see. Total mission time was over a year. Most G Force. What? 2243 G's? How do you even survive such insane amount of G force? What? That's unreal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Highest speed achieved 869,629 meters a second. When did I achieve that highest speed? Last I checked, I didn't even reach. What was it? A hundred thousand meters a second. Where did the remaining 769,000 meters a second come from? What kind of sorcery is behind that? So I guess that's it. I guess there really isn't anything special about the sun except for its atmosphere. And I guess it's something that's going to require expertise. To try to land on the surface? I will admit, I was kind of hoping that I could, I don't know, land slowly on the sun's surface instead of ramming so quickly like that. Um, but I guess there isn't anything else to this star. I guess all this stuff is below, and it, oh, it's so bright, I'm gonna ruin my eyes. Okay, this black sky right here, this is realistic. That is realistic. So I guess that's it. I guess that finishes the mission. I guess there's nothing else to check out on this star. So if you guys who are watching are interested in what I just did, and you want to do something similar, I challenge you to descend slowly onto the sun's surface, to possibly land safely, and I put safely in quotation marks because there's no such thing as landing safely on the sun's surface, but... Well, that does it for this week's video of Kerbal Space Program. I'm thinking in next week's video, I'm going to go to Geo Flight Simulator. Man, it's... it's those... Well, no kidding, it's not going to auto-save. Now, don't interrupt me while I'm closing the video. But anyway, in next week's video, I'm going to go back to Geo Flight Simulator, and it's been such a long time since I've last been there. 
I'm gonna do a little messing around in that simulator. They actually added a few new airplanes since I last did a video, so we'll check those out. But anyway, that's gonna conclude this week's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. India Alpha Bravo checking out. T-15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have commit. We have, we have liftoff.